Episode 12, Dogtanyan to the Rescue. Our adventure continues in the spy-infested secret hideaway of Cardinal Richelieu. He was in her room, and yet he has escaped our trap? Yes, but I don't know how. It is obvious that Dog Canyon was in the palace, and the guards there must have known it. But the palace guards are Treville's musketeers and will say nothing. Our attempt to disgrace the musketeers and seize control of the palace has failed. When you entered the Queen's room, what did she say? That she had been sleeping, but the disorder of her room proved otherwise. I have no doubt at all that she helped him to escape. It must have been obvious to you, Your Eminence, that someone had been there. Under the circumstances, there was nothing I could do. I cannot call the Queen of France a liar. Unless, of course, I can prove that it's true. But how in the world did Dog Canyon escape from the palace without being seen? A secret passage, perhaps? A passage? My spies have reported that there are secret tunnels leading from within the palace to the outside eminence. A pity we didn't know of this before, but we can still use it to our advantage if we locate one of these passages. Your Eminence, my informers believe there to be two secret passageways leading to the Queen's Chamber, one from the Seine River and the other from the forest west of the palace. I'll place guards at the tunnel entrances day and night to intercept the Queen's secret messengers. If I may, Your Eminence, I will guard one of them. Mm -hmm. It would seem a logical choice, Your Eminence. Mm -hmm. I agree. Widomer, you will guard the passage entrance in the western forest. May it please, Your Eminence, I'll guard the entrance at the river. Agreed, Rochefort. We'll soon have the evidence we need to accuse the Queen of Treason. Meanwhile, at the headquarters of the Musketeer... It seems unbelievable, but if what you say is true, this lady hypnotized you and then ordered you to kill Her Majesty the Queen. Yes. That monster Richelieu is more dangerous than I thought. Dog Tanyon, can you describe this lady to me? I recall only that she was very beautiful, Captain. Hmm, beautiful and one of Richelieu's spies. Milady? Hmm? I can't be sure, but I think I know who she might be. My lady, you called her. Who is she? By reputation, she is clever and ruthless, and if paid enough, she is capable of anything. It seems you know a great deal about the lady. Well, no. Just by reputation. I understand. As for you, Dog Tanyon. Yes, Captain? Until this whole affair is settled, you must be confined behind bars. That is an order. If you attempt to escape, you will be expelled from the Musketeers. If Richelieu believes we think Dog Tanyon's guilty, he may relax his guard. So you three must see to it that Dog Tanyon remains in his cell, or I'll be forced to expel all of you. Understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. It won't be for long, my lad. Hmm, the entrance to the passage must be right around here. I'm sure Rochefort said this was the place. It must be here somewhere. Rochefort's informers must have been mistaken. There's no sign of a secret passage. Well, I'm tired. I'll rest for a while. Widemere, of course, wouldn't know a tunnel from a hole in the ground. Meanwhile, Juliet is on a secret mission for Her Majesty Queen Anne, little realizing the danger she will face as she steps outside. Hey. That's odd. It opened so easily the time before. Hey. Uh. Uh. Hey, come back here! I want to talk to you! You better come back here, you! Stop!
I believe your name is Julian, isn't it? Yes, but how do you know my name? I also know the name Dog Canyon and what he did at the palace last night. Hmm? Then you're the one that hypnotized him. Good for you. I can see that you're a very clever girl, but not clever enough. For now you will be forced to testify that Dog Canyon tried to kill the Queen last night. I love him. I will not betray him no matter what you do to me. <laughs> I'm sure I'll persuade you. <laughs> Were you trying to do? Kill yourself? You stupid girl. Oh. Wait, why run? You can't escape. It's my duty to try. It's absolutely impossible for you to escape. You stupid girl, come back here. You say you captured her and then allowed her to escape. I find this hard to believe, my lady. My apologies, your eminence. From what Captain Widemir was telling me, he was just about to capture her when you appeared on the scene. It sounds almost as if you were rescuing her. What reason would I have to do such a thing, your eminence? Anything is possible for one such as you, my lady, whose only loyalty is to those people who have enough money to buy it. Your accusation is unfair and unjust, for I've never been unfaithful to you, nor given you any reason whatever to mistrust me. Here is the proof that what I say is true. Proof? What is that? This, Your Eminence. It is the cuff from the sleeve of Juliet's dress. A piece of cloth doesn't prove a thing. Even if she did survive, which I doubt, we can claim she's in our hands, and then we can trap Dog Tanyon when he tries to rescue her. A very fine plan. When we capture him, we'll make him confess, and that will be the end of Treville and his musketeers. Precisely, Your Eminence. Now we must find the ideal place to trap Dog Tanyon. I would say Gallard Castle, Your Eminence. Fine, get everything ready. Widemir, see to it that Dog Tanyon believes that Juliet is in our hands. Yes, sir. At present, our hero is in no position to rescue anyone. He sits alone in his cell in the Bastille prison, on a bound, not to try to escape. Captain Treville has chosen too severe a punishment. After all, Dog Tanyon's not a criminal. It's for his own good. You know how unpredictable he can be. No doubt about it. The captain is doing it to protect him. But how long do you think he'll have to be in there? Oh, 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 oh. What is it, Planchet? I have an urgent message for my master. It's very important that I speak to him. Certainly, Planchette. Visits are allowed, and I'm sure he'd enjoy the company. Well, I have very unpleasant news for him, I'm afraid. A pity. I'll go see him. Then. Master Companion. Hello, Planchette. For you, Master. It was just delivered to the house by that bully, Captain Whittemer, who said that if you wanted to save the life of its owner, you have to go to Gallard Castle. Let me see that. It's a cup from Juliet's dress, Planchette. Her perfume, those scoundrels, they've kidnapped her. Now, where did he say I had to go? He said that you should go to Gallard Castle. Very well, bring my horse. I have brought him, sir. He's outside the prison gate. Thank you. Huh? Canyon, where are you going? going? I'm sorry, but I must go. When I return, I'll tell the captain that you had nothing to do with my running away. Never mind about us. What about yourself? If you take one step outside of this prison, you'll be expelled from the Royal Musketeers. I must. Then at least tell us why. 
You'll only do yourselves harm if you get involved. It's a personal affair. Do you know what's going on, Planchette? Mademoiselle Juliet is a captive at Gallard Castle. Captive? Now I understand why D'Artagnan is willing to give it all up. It's a trap! There are times when there's no choice but to leap into the fire even knowing you'll get burned. I'm going with him. What about us? We can't let Aramis hog all the fun for himself. And if we're expelled from the Musketeers, it will be because we have stayed true to our motto. One for all! My master's a little wild, but those guys are absolutely wacko. What? D'Artagnan has disobeyed my orders? Did he say where he was going? To Gallard Castle. When he left, Porthos, Aramis, and Athos were right behind him, sir. They've probably gone to bring him back. No, sir. They told me to inform you that they felt they had to help their friend no matter what the punishment was when they got back. Very well. You may return to duty. Yes, sir. Mm, I know these musketeers, and I know they wouldn't disobey my orders unless it was an absolute emergency. The cardinal is involved in this. He's up to something. I can feel it in my bones. A trap. Paul, would you come in here immediately, please? Hey, Paul, sir. I want you to give the order for combat alert. I want the entire corps ready to leave on maneuvers in half an hour and notify the palace, Paul. Yes, sir. Mm, it's a risky game with high stakes, the fate of those four and the existence of the corps itself. But I love a gamble. <laughs> Surely you remember one for all and all for one, my friend. And we do what we must. Fill it. Oh, thanks. There is Gallery Castle. A very strong force indeed. Are all the men at their posts? Yes, Eminence. Once D'Artagnan enters the castle, he will never be able to leave it. And the men outside are Station. Yes, as are the men on the parapets. I've stationed one platoon of our guards between those rocks, just in case. If he manages to escape the castle, we'll get him there. Your plan is flawless. Have you noticed, friends? Easy getting in, but difficult coming out. He is accompanied by the three musketeers. Excellent. Now I can accuse them of being his accomplices in the conspiracy. Ah, the friends will believe they are traitors. Come, we shall give them the welcome they deserve. You in the castle, listen to me. I am Dog Tanyan, ex-cadet of the King's Musketeers. I've come for Mademoiselle Juliet. Bring her to me at once. I am Aramis, ex-musketeer of the king, and I second everything D'Artagnan has said. Now release Mademoiselle Juliet! Ex-musketeer Porthos! Athos, ex-musketeer! You pack of cowards, holding a lady hostage, how can you live with your shame? Open those gates! What's all this racket? Open the gates! It looks suspicious to me. You two wait here just in case while we go in. Look, it's Juliet! Oh, be careful, my friend. It could be a trap. Are you positive? I am! Juliet! It better be a word trap. Get them! I'll bet that she's not even here. I agree. The one they want is you, my friend. That is correct, Aramis. But since the three of you were kind enough to accompany him, we'll be happy to accommodate all four of you. And now you will surrender to us immediately. You take Wilma, I'll handle Rochefort. Swordsman 
approach for. But you're no match for me, and you know it. You'll be the one to give up. Damn it, monsieur! walls, too. Take your positions, men. Good luck. Hey! His eminence says to get ready for combat. Hey! Pull back. We're surrounded by guardsmen on every side. Lothos is right, my god. We must escape at once or we will all be captured. Agreed. My men are losing. Archers, kill them. Go on, quickly. Hurry up, Athos! <laughs> Surrender or we die fighting. You know my choice. Is this the end of D'Artagnan and the Three Musketeers? How can they possibly be saved? I'm sorry, friends. This is all my fault. Take it easy. This isn't over yet, D'Artagnan. Excellent. I needed only one conspirator to get rid of Treville and his musketeers. Now I have four. You have my congratulations, Eminence. Capture them, but do not kill them. I want them alive. Take them! Farewell, mates. Thank you for your friendship. One for all! And, huh? Uh -huh. Hmm? Uh -huh. Who could this be? Why, it's Monsieur Treville and the Musketeers. But how can he save D'Artagnan and his friends? To use force against the Cardinal would be breaking the law. But if he can convince the Cardinal that he's willing to take that risk, then perhaps... Treville must be crazy to threaten me like this. Then perhaps, perhaps there might just be a way. Welcome, Captain. Hmm? What is the meaning of this, Treville? What a pleasant surprise, Eminence. It's good to see you. I just happen to be in this area drilling my men. Just by chance, of course. Why, yes, Your Eminence, but I'm glad you're here. It will give you an opportunity to see the Royal Musketeers in action. You traitor! You'd use force against me? Your eminence, how could you think such a thing? It was a 21-gun salute in your honor. I, uh, yes. <laughs> what a coincidence. I see you have your royal guardsmen out on maneuvers also. And what a handsome group they are indeed. Mm, yes, of course. It's quite apparent why you're unhappy with their performance, eminence. I think you made the proper choice in coming out to drill them yourself. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. I'm glad I was here, for now I shall personally see to it that those intruders are punished. You needn't bother. I plan to punish them myself for disobeying my orders. Royal Musketeers Porthos, Athos, and Aramis, and Cadet D'Artagnan, you are hereby under arrest. Good day, Your Eminence. <laughs> Treville, someday you will pay for this. Monsieur Treville has foiled the Cardinal's scheme. Would he have attacked Richelieu if his gamble had failed? That will be his secret, but we do know this. When evil is near and deeds must be done, he's sworn one for all and all for one. In our next episode, the Cardinal plans new ways of capturing Juliet, while D'Artagnan makes a new friend who teaches him many valuable lessons that help D'Artagnan to thwart the black mustache and rescue his lady love, Juliet.